um, you did use the word wokeism, which is a conservative buzzword, unfortunately. I'm going to take uh, my seat. Thank you. How about this? How about this? Garbage. What's up, Peace up? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Food debates. Smart Alec college student tries to understand critical racism. Okay. This is going to be amazing. I love to check this video out with you guys. This is by Charlie Cook. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Hi. Um, I'm hoping that you could explain without using a single buzzword or a conservative talking point what CRT is. So, so you want to go back to Herbert Marcuse, the Frankfurt School, Michel Foucault, Jacques Derrida, I want one you dimensional to answer man. my question. No, I'm just asking you how far back do you want me to go? I want you to explain what CRT is. What CRT is comes out of critical theory, which came out of the Frankfurt School, which is a belief that there are systems that exist both institutionally and systemically, and that through critical theory, which also has critical law theory, through the kind of the changing of how we view society must be through a racial lens and not through a economic lens or through a legal lens. And if you look very clearly at the writings of Marcuse, at the writings of Spinoza, especially in the early 1990s where this started to pop up, there was this idea that we must give preference based on the melanin content of people's skin, not on actions, not on choices, and instead, because America is so unequal, because it is so inequitable, that these writers and authors that were the beginning people that actually started this term critical race theory 50 or 60 years ago, believed that this would be a true Marxist-type movement that would help happen in this country. It was kind of fostered and started in many different universities across this country. Marcuse came from the Frankfurt School, and it really kind of comes back to the couple beliefs that CRT believes in, to make it overly simple. Number one, that there is no such thing as absolute truth. That number two, power dynamics are more important than anything else. Number three, skin color should be something that has a top priority in how we characterize people and their worth and their dignity. Number four, that kind of American history and kind of how we teach it is completely wrong. Five, that America is systemically racist, and I could continue from that. That right there is a 35,000 foot view. Happy to go deeper, um, but that is the history of critical race theory, and it's evolved into terms of wokeism, diversity, equity, inclusion, in, the idea of America being systemically racist, 1619 Project, they're all outgrowths of the postmodern deconstructionist type viewpoint that started in the 1960s from Marcuse, who was a Marxist type believer in the Frankfurt School, was expelled, found domicile here in America, and implemented in our colleges. How'd I do? I, I do appreciate that response. Thank you. Um, you did use the word wokeism, which is a conservative buzzword, unfortunately. I'm going uh, to take my seat. Thank you. How about this? How about this? Garbage. <laughs> okay. She asked for the definition of CRT and it was given to her. And <laughs> she's talking about <laughs> wokeism. Okay. I want to get one thing right. It's like, why is she wearing a mask? Why are they always wearing a mask? Whenever I see all these woke people and these leftists, they are always wearing masks, always covering their face. They are shy. They are, I won't say shy. They are afraid. Because why would you be wearing a mask? I love how Charlie said garbage. She just spill out the garbage right there. You ask for a definition. And at first, when she was, she was actually kind of rude at first. And Charlie compose himself and define it. I, I never knew critical race theory was, that was actually the history itself because this is my first time hearing about the full history about the critical race theory and it's like an eye opening for me. And the only thing she picked out from there is wokeism. Like, the lady right there, she's very, very silly, number one, and number two, she's spilling out garbage. I love how Charlie handled her. Uh, I love the entire video. This was really beautiful. It was uh, very, very funny at the end when Charlie said garbage. Uh, I don't know why. Most of this left is they're always triggered, easily triggered every time. There is nothing bad Charlie said in his definition. And you are just triggered and you said because of the wokeism that Charlie mentioned, you are, you are kind of like pissed. You are triggered already and you're walking out. So you're actually spinning out garbage. It's, that's the fact. This entire video was actually beautiful to watch. I love the entire video. I love how Charlie handled her. 
Welcome to the next video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all over.